filing a bill to make the temporary date an official state holiday. I would assume supporter Alexandra Leslie joins us now from the control room with more details on the local impact new at six. It's of course a disappointing announcement, but local and state leaders felt that it was the right call to postpone and not cancel the marathon. Mayor Marty Walsh says the cost to cancel would have been nearly $200 million for regional economies and nearly $40 million for charities. Our expectation, uh, and it's an expectation and, and a hope right now, is that this date will, will get us to a safer place in relation to the spread of the coronavirus. Runners won't be coming down Heartbreak Hill on April 20th. The 124th Boston Marathon postponed until September 14th. That's what all of this is about, protecting vulnerable neighbors and population and preserving the capacity of our health care system in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Mayor Marty Walsh with an additional message for runners. Don't attempt to run the course on April 20th. Roads will not be closed and first responders won't be in place. He hopes runners will still take part on September 14th. Our plan is to make the weekend of September 14th uh, a cornerstone in a campaign to help businesses, local businesses, recover from this entire episode. Both Walsh and Governor Charlie Baker added that in the face of this crisis, they believe Boston will continue to be a leader. This particular Boston Marathon does define resilience, and I think everybody, once we get there, will feel the same way they always feel on Marathon Day. We are Boston strong. The Boston Athletic Association released a statement in part saying that runners and volunteers will get additional info in the coming days. I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.